If you want to know how to master those seemingly difficult Snell's Law calculations, then this is video for you. If you're new to refraction, you might want to check out the first two videos in the series first and then come back to this one. In the previous two videos, we looked at what we called refractive index n and we said n is the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light, I'm using v for speed here, in the medium that we are considering. Then we said that when we've got an angle of incidence, if we take the sine of the angle of incidence and we divide it by the sine of the angle of refraction, that will always give us the refractive index of the substance. Here's our first question. It says the refractive index of diamond is 2.4. If light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second in air, how fast does it travel when in diamond? The first thing to do in any question is to write down all the things that we know and all the things we're trying to find out. We know that the refractive index of diamond is equal to 2.4. We know that the speed of light in a vacuum is equal to 300,000 kilometers per second. And the thing we're trying to find out is the speed of light in the diamond. So what we do is we write out the equation. We know that refractive index of any medium equals the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in that medium. In this case, the medium is diamond. We then need to rearrange that equation. So what we can do is we can bring the V for the diamond over here, multiply it by the refractive index. That would equal the speed of light in a vacuum. The next stage to get the speed of light in a diamond by itself we will end up getting the speed of light in a vacuum and we will divide that by the refractive index of the diamond. We can then put the numbers in. We know that the speed of light in a vacuum is 300,000 kilometers per second. We can divide that by the refractive index, which is 2.4, and that gives us an answer of 125,000 kilometers per second. So in other words, when light travels through diamond, it travels at a speed of around about 125,000 kilometers per second. And here's another type of question. This one tells us that the refractive index of water is 1.33. Light enters water from air and has an angle of refraction of 48 degrees. What was the angle of incidence? So they've given us the angle of refraction we're trying to find out what the angle of incidence must be. So as we normally do, we start by writing down everything that we know and everything that we don't know. We know that the refractive index of the glass is equal to 1.33. We know that the angle of refraction is equal to 48 degrees. And the angle of incidence is the thing that we don't know. So we have to think about the equation. Well, if you remember the equation, was the sine of the angle of incidence divided by sine of the angle of refraction should always equal the refractive index. Well, let's rearrange the equation over here and see if we can get a value for the angle of incidence. We could say that sine of i must equal the refractive index multiplied by sine of the angle of refraction, which means that I must be the inverse sine of the refractive index multiplied by the sine of the angle of refraction. Then we put the numbers in, so we know that I must equal the inverse sine of 1.33 multiplied by the sine of 48 degrees. We put those numbers into our calculator and it gives us an answer of 81.3 degrees. In other words, in glass, if you're getting an angle of refraction of 48 degrees, the angle of incidence must have been about 81.3 degrees. And that finishes the series on refraction and Snell's law. If you are interested in looking at some more videos about learning physics for GCSE, please click on the links at the bottom of the screen and do also consider subscribing.